good to meet you all once again here in Cepac tutorials and today's tutorial present to us another exciting interaction with drill holes and all deposits in today's lesson we are going to cover how to generate intersections between drill holes and a three-dimensional model in this case the ODTM the topography will also be used to cut off or truncate the part of the ore model which goes beyond the ground surface so without wasting much time let's get down to sepac and see what we can do go to database display drill holes from no particular table i'll click apply then i'll display my all domain one dtm all right so what is it that we want to do we want to identify which part of the drill hole intersects the all dtm in other words the interval along each drill hole that intersect the or DTM and how are we going to go about this we will first create a table in our database and this table that we will create will contain the intervals for each drill hole that intersect the or envelope so let's go ahead into the database and create a new table go to database database again come down here to administration and come down to select create table click on it and the form will appear here we have database name new database is the name of our database as you can see in the status area it is also appearing inactive because you cannot change the name here table name what name would you want to give to the table that you want to create because we are trying to come up with an analysis to determine which part of the drill holes intersect the ODTM I would opt to enter a name say intersection okay then table type if you have watched the first lesson of my separate tutorial series you will notice that I have explained all these things interval point and discrete tables interval here has been selected because we are trying to come up with an interval along the drill holes that intersect with the ODTM that is why interval has been checked and maintain that because we are going to create an interval table time dependent you don't have to check the time dependent box because whatever table we are going to create is independent of time I'll click apply to continue and I'll be presented with the form for define offers for all tables again if you have watched the first lesson of my SEPA tutorials I'm pretty sure you're familiar with this window here we have mandatory fills and we have optional fills we are not going to do anything of whatsoever to the mandatory fills we will head down to the optional field and create a new field called ozone and the type of field is going to be a character field you check the box for the now session and the length you can enter any number to suit your preference let's say 20 okay and i'll click apply and it says in the message window create table processing completed meaning our table has been completed has been created we would want to verify the newly created table in our database and we can do this in so many ways we can go to database display drill holes now we will want to select the table that we want to display our drill holes for i'll click on this and if you have taken notice of this anytime we wanted to display our drill holes from a particular table we were presented with assay color and geology tables we didn't have intersection but now we just created an intersection table and it has been added to the list of table names in our database so i'll select this one then the field you can select any field that you want to view no constraint apply and the drill holes will be displayed meaning our table has been created successfully beautiful another way to verify that the table has been created in our database is to go to database come down here to report and select database summary click on it and the database summary report window will appear here we have database name which is the new database report file name you can enter any name which will be the name that you would want to use to save the summary for your database if you want to 
have a file for your database and you can enter any name here and the format you can select anyone to suit your preference all right we have table name data type table type and number of records the table name refers to all the tables that we have in our database and initially we created our database from assay color geology stars survey and translation we just added intersection tables type of data interval tables have been presented here because in our database we have assay geology and intersection tables we just created an interval table as intersection the table type we did not check the box for the time dependent because our tables are not dependent on time that is why we have presented here time independent then the number of records zero number of records is presented or shown here for the intersection table this is because we have created the intersection table but we have not imported any data into it that is why it is showing here a null record okay another way to determine that your table has been created in the database is to go to database edit view table click on it and this time we will select the table name intersection as it's appearing here apply apply and the window will appear table intersection you can see that the fields have been created here but there is no data that was why we were shown in the database summary that zero number of records this is the field that we created all zone and it's shown in the page number here one of zero meaning we have no records here all right after performing analysis to determine which part of the drill hole intersect our ODTM, this table will update itself with that record. Okay. So what next? We are going to come up with analysis to determine which intervals along the drill holes intersect our all envelope. Go to database analysis and select drill hole 3DM intersection. Click on it apply no query to be applied to the drill holes and we are presented with this beautiful window here we have defined the object number to intersect with the object number here refers to the object in graphics for your dtm remember the number here refers to eight because that is the number we gave to our object when we were creating the model so we have here eight as default name the layer for saving the resultant whole trace segment after performing the operation the analysis between the drill holes and the ODTM the resultant of the operation will be displayed in graphics we are recommended to enter a name for that particular layer which will appear in the layers pane here to save that resultant of the operation so let's say I want to enter a name intersection to save that layer intersection okay and here we have save intersections to database remember we have created a new table called intersection in our database and we want that table to save the intervals for the drill holes that intersected the oil envelope so we are going to save whatever analysis or operation that we are going to perform here in our database so this box has to be checked and you will go into the database to select the table this time we will select the intersection because we are going to save everything in the intersection table click on it and the full name is going to be all zone as we created and here intersection code the intersection code should be numeric please take note of this it should be numeric so that the code is what is going to save the drill hole interval is going to serve as a specification you can enter any number to suit your preference if you enter a character field here the operation is never going to be performed okay define the log file for the results you can enter a name for the report that will be generated let's say um drill hole and all intersection i'll enter that all underscore drill hole intersect 
the format I would want it to be in a CSV format. Apply. As you can see, it says validation of field intersection code field. We will have to enter a number for the intersection code and this field should be numeric. So you can enter any number of your preference. Let's say three or the object number which is in graph is eight. Apply. And it says in the status area processing drew holes the operation is being done so let's wait for a while okay so we have here the report all drew hole intersect this is the name we gave to the report file and we have here whole id depth from depth to remember it's an interval table we created in the database so we are going to have a field of depth from and depth to and this is the code we gave to the intersection 8 okay as you can see here for this particular whole id from 19.5 meters to 55.5 meters the drew hole intersected an all zone all right the reason why we created this report is that a printout of this report can be generated and given to the field geologist or technician so that all zones for infill drill holes can be anticipated for instance with this printout if a hole is drilled between hole number one and hole number two a geologist or technician can anticipate that mineralization is likely to occur let's say this is 19.5 and this is 21 we can say mineralization may be may be present from let's say 20 meters to um, 58 meters that means a drill hole in between hole 1 and hole 2 may have mineralization occurring between if you could interpolate these values you can say 20 meters to 58 meters this will call for proper scrutiny or in that or proper inspection of drilling and sampling protocols when approaching that interval okay so i'll close this report and now we will save the layer remember the layer name has appeared here intersection if i should hide um, if i should hide all my drill holes database display hide all drill holes you can see that and i'll display my transparency for the all model you can see that the drill holes the part of the drill holes which intersected the all is left inside the all and that is the name we gave to the layer as intersection so if i should hide that layer you realize that the drill holes the portion of the drill holes which intersected the all model has disappeared if i should bring it back it will be displayed so go to save let's say intersection the same name as the layer and it will be a string file you can call this for future use apply and if I should exit graphics and bring the layer intersection, this is it. The portion of the drill holes that intersected the all model. Okay, so now let's go back to the table and view what we have there. Exit graphics, database, edit, view table, intersection, apply, apply beautiful now we are presented with records initially we did not have any record in the table but after performing the intersection of the drill holes and the ODTM we have been presented with uh, 20 records this is the intersection code 8 the depth from 19.5 to uh, 55.5 meters as initially revealed from the report so these are the intervals that from and depth to along the drill hole trace that intersected the ODTM. And the page number has been updated, page 1 out of 1. Okay, so we can go and check this from the database summary and see if the records have been updated. Okay, go to database, report, database summary, click on it. And now as you can see, the number of records have been updated for the intersection table initially it was zero and now it is 20 
when we opened the table we saw 20 number of records beautiful okay our next task to be performed is to truncate the all model with the topo if i should display my all domain one dtm and the topography of the area you realize that the all domain extends beyond the topo or goes beyond the ground surface the reason why you are seeing this is because when we were digitizing the mineralization zones using the assays as guides we digitized in such a way that our segments went beyond the drill hole colors so if i should display the colors for the drill holes you realize that we created the segment for the all model beyond the topo that is why if you should create a dtm from the string file obviously the dtm will also go beyond the colors of the drill hole that is why you are seeing that here we may interpret this as an outcrop of a mineral deposit that is an exposure of the mineral deposit at the rock surface but this condition is actually unrealistic hardly would you come across a mineral deposit highly exposed like this so we should come up with a cleanup or a solution and the recommended solution is to trim the ore deposit so that it becomes located beneath the topo so we will cut off this portion which is exposed here so let's do that quickly i will head over to the solids menu click on it come down here select solid tools and come here to select clip solid below a dtm because we want to clip the all model dtm beneath the topo so i will click on that okay and here we are presented with this small window graphics layer name the resultant of the operation will be saved in graphics that is after performing the intersection the clipping of the dtm of the all under the tuple the resultant will be saved in the graphics so we would want to give a name for that layer that will host the resultant let's give it a name say uh, all domain 2 Then the object number, what number would you want to give to the all model that will be created beneath the topo? Let's say 2, which will be an object color of blue. Apply. And it says in the status area, select the 3DM trisolation. This is the solid all model, so I will click on that. And it says again in the status area, select the DTM trisolation. I will click on the topo because that is the DTM and as you can see the all DTM has been truncated or the upper part the upper portion of the all that went above the DTM has been cut off and we are left with the remaining portion here okay and as you can see the all domain 2 that is the layer name that will save or store the operation the resultant of the operation is here so we can save this layer name go to save and immediately i click on the save the object number two has been updated here which is blue i will give it a name or domain two and this will be a dtm file apply all right so if i should exit graphics and come back for my all domain 2 dtm and my topography you realize that the topo is now beneath um the all model is now beneath the topo and we can see traces of the all model here this actually seem realistic compared to the previous one if i should display my drill holes from no particular table apply now we are seeing the drill holes penetrating the all model and the all model is right beneath or below the topography all right so that is it for this tutorial catch you in the next lesson where we get to do compositing studies catch you later bye